My name is Matt Matros. I'm the founder of Protein Bar. Protein Bar is a 16-unit chain of healthy food quick serve uh, restaurants here in Chicago. We also have locations in Washington, D.C. and in Denver. Everything we do is high in protein, high in fiber, low in refined sugar, lower in saturated fat. We have an awesome menu of breakfast items, lunch items, dinner items, and we have tons of snacks. So, um, stores open early in the morning for loop workers that are trying to get to their office, and we stay open pretty late in the city. I grew up in California, uh, about an hour north of LA, and I was uh, about 50 pounds heavier than I am now, um, so I was the fat kid, and I heard all the fat jokes in the book. Uh, when I was 22, I left USC, I graduated from USC, I left my job as a sports agent, committed to a high protein diet, started exercising, and ended up losing 50 pounds that summer from April to October. And I've just kept it off ever since, drinking protein shakes and eating a lot of the recipes that we sell now. Fast forward a few years, I went to University of Michigan for grad school, came to Chicago to work for Kraft. So I was selling cheese for Kraft, still can't say that with a straight face, uh, but I was brand manager at Kraft Cheese, and realized that there was no place that served the kind of food I wanted to eat, so liquidated all my life savings, got some SBA loans, and opened our first location across the street from Willis Tower. That was May of 2009, so we're coming up on five years. So for me, you know, my father passed away. He had a heart attack. When I was 11, he was 48. And when I was 22, I realized I was kind of heading down that path, that unhealthy path. And sort of had a kind of a light bulb moment where I just realized I needed to make a drastic change in my life, knowing that death was the, <laughs> the alternative. Um, so in April, when I was uh, I graduated from USC, and I, I saw the, my picture, my college graduation picture, and I just wasn't happy with the way I looked. And, Realizing that I didn't want to have that same peril that my father had, um, that's when I decided to make that, that switch and that commitment. And knowing that if death is the alternative, that's a pretty willpower driving factor. Our real motivation for what we do is driven by science. Everything that we sell, every ingredient that we have is purpose driven. Um, everything, everything single ingredient exists because it, there's a specific reason. Whether it's Greek yogurt, which is packed with protein, so we use that instead of sour cream if it's almond milk, as we were saying, it's lower in calories and sugar-free. Everything that we do, it always starts with the science. I like to think that I'm more of a visionary. I think a lot of entrepreneurs tend to be great visionaries. They like to see where things are going. And I think that's one of my towering strengths, is I feel like I am more of a visionary. Um, so I can see what consumers are going to want. Oftentimes, consumers don't know what they want, so they're told or they're given that option. And I think that's sort of my role in the world, is to help consumers. Um, feel like they have a trusted place to go. So I pretty much eat mostly what, what protein bar sells. My diet consists of a shake in the morning. This morning I made a Wrigley Peels, which is an organic peanut butter, organic agave actor, or chocolate protein. When I leave here, I'm gonna go have a burrito um, or a buffalo burrito. And then usually at dinner, I try to have a little bit lighter of a meal. So I have one of our salads, our superfood salad, or our Southwest salad is typically best for me. Well, it's funny, I, t I never really had balance in my life, but now I have a girlfriend. I've had a girlfriend about a year, she's a great gal. Um, and I'm getting back into fitness again. Uh, did a triath my ninth triathlon last year, so I'll probably do another one this summer. People are trying to get me to run the marathon, but I'm a little nervous about that. Um, so we're excited about being in Chicago. Um, it's our hometown, it's our heritage market, and we want to be here as, as, as long as we're in existence. Is there an IPO in the future? You know what? That's that would be a gr that would be an amazing exit to follow, kind of in the footsteps of what another great company here in Chicago, Potbelly, did recently. Um, but we're just focusing on opening really awesome restaurants here in town, and if that's something that eventually comes. We'll, we'll be uh, very fortunate.